guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be running through what I bought in Paris and also running through any price differences or shopping tips and tricks that I learned while I was away. So let's get straight into the video. Let's start with my new prize possession. I have wanted custom gold goose for the longest time ever. Ever since I figured out that you could even get them I was like how am I going to get my hands on a pair of these? How am I going to do this experience and then I saw so many people on TikTok doing it and it seemed that you could only get it done in America and I was like I'm literally gonna have to buy my own pack of sharpies at this rate and try to do them myself and I kind of accepted that that was gonna happen then I saw that you could actually do it online it's like a collaborative process I think you do it over like zoom or something so if you're watching this video and you're not planning a trip to one of the Golden Goose stores that do um co-creation and I'll get to that in a minute you can do it online or else you can do it yourself but it was just such a cool experience you'll actually see in my other Paris vlog the kind of setup that you have and there's like a book that you can get ideas from but I had already in my mind I knew what I wanted to do but yeah you can do it online or else you can do it in stores now I found it really difficult to find out even what stores did it I was going on the app I was going on the website I was emailing them I wasn't hearing anything back and I just couldn't figure out what, because like you could see that Paris has like a few like stores and there was a flagship store there. And I was like, oh my God, surely one of these shops is gonna do it. So we went to the biggest one. Definitely would recommend going to the biggest one if you aren't looking for the custom shoes, but they had the best selection of shoes. Um, for men, women, children, they had bags, phone accessories, loads of clothes. And being honest with you, I wish that that um, store did the co-creation because they had a much better selection of shoes. Now I do love the ones that I got, but I wish that there would have been more to choose from. So the store that actually does do the co-creation, I will put that link here again, or the address, sorry. Um, they only had, I'm gonna say about, 10 styles to choose from and some of them didn't have like any kind of white bits on them and I knew I wanted a lot of drawing so I am really happy with the ones that I got and I'll show you them there now but I'm saying you can only choose from certain styles to get the co-creation done on and the shop that I went to was small enough to begin with and um, so keep that in mind now I don't really know how you're meant to find out which shops do the co-creation which is really annoying because obviously if you're planning a trip and you want to go to the right place or whatever I know there's like a um there's like a standalone go to goose in like London there's one in Milan Madrid um loads in Paris well three in Paris there's one in Barcelona but not all of these shops do the co-creation so I was really lucky that when we got to the large one um the girl there was so so lovely she uh, gave me the address of where to go but yeah I, t I don't really know how you can figure it out because I even emailed twice and heard nothing back which is really annoying I think they have a phone line that maybe you could ring but other than that I think it's a matter of like literally going out to TikTok and messaging people being like, where did you get these done? But anyway, got there in the end, found the shop and got my shoes. So I'm gonna show you them in some great detail. I was actually looking at these shoes to begin with in Burr Thomas, just the plain shoes. Um, Cause I know Sinead Keery had some, she wears them all the time. They look really cool. So this is them. So they are kind of like a metallic-y sole, metallic -y star, metallic back. And it's kind of like a mixture between gold and silver. And then, so just to, let's reverse a little bit here. So to get the co-creation, you pay for the price of the shoe and an extra 75 euro. And to be honest, that actually, I thought it was gonna be more for starters. And I think it does depend on the shops that you go to, because I've heard some places that it was 100 and I saw on some TikToks, that it was a hundred and you get your pair of laces and two charms and that's it. Whereas the fella I went to was as cool as a breeze. It was 75 euro and you got your laces and the laces are usually 50. So like the go to goose laces are usually 50. So it was like only like 25 euro, but I'm telling myself to get them customized. But he had no rules at all. As much drawing as I wanted, as much of these gems as I wanted, as many charms as I wanted. Like there was no limit. So I don't know if that was just in that shop or if I got lucky, but like, I thought that you could only get gems where there's like the little holes but you can actually get them like all over the shoe if you want so what I did was I got the three gems in the sh in the hole there I got some drawings I got the laces I got the charm on the front the skateboard charm on the side and then just the golden goose stairs on the inside I didn't get any drawings on that and I love this it has like the you are golden and then on this one 
we just have the star we've no skateboard charm on this one and then on the side we have golden goose crew and then some drawings but i think it definitely helps that if you were planning to get these done that you have some pictures in mind and um, the only thing that i wanted to do was i wanted to get like writing here but i couldn't because this is actually shiny but if you get the normal sole ones you can get writing wherever you want including on the sole but that is what they look like in terms of sizing i actually went for five of these and I'm still going to stick to my guns of saying the sizing for Golden Goose is true to size. But if I'm buying them online, I'll get a 5. Sometimes, only twice ever I think I've tried on a 5 and been like, these are really big, I'm going to size down. So I'm going to say I'm a 5 in Golden Goose. Occasionally I get a 4. Um, also, I want to show you the insole because I've been getting a lot of questions about how good the insole is. Obviously, the price you're paying, you're paying for the Italian leather, the name, all the rest of it. But look at this. Like, I wear orthotics in my shoes. So that's usually why I get a five to put the insole in. But this is the insole that comes in the shoes, guys. In all Golden Goose adults shoes. So like there's a big dip there. That's really, really good arch support. I still put my insole in on top of them, but you definitely wouldn't have to. And even if you don't need insoles, that's a really nice uh, bit of arch support and super soft to make them really comfortable. And that's a question that I got a lot was, obviously when you're in Paris, you're doing a lot of walking or climbing up the Eiffel Tower because the lift is broken, you're walking around Disneyland, you're doing sightseeing and unless you are getting taxis or metros or scooting, like we were literally, even with metros, we didn't do any scooting, we were just walking everywhere, but like we were doing like 25, 27,000 steps a day and I wore my golden goose the whole time and they were very comfortable, but my feet were getting really sore by the end of the trip and like I've worn these um like walk doing a full day shopping in Kildare Village I've worn them walking or Clarny I've worn them like in Dublin my feet never get sore and they did get sore on this trip but again I did four days of like 30 step 30,000 30, steps every day so I think that that proves to you that these shoes are really really good quality and they can be worn for both fashion and comfortable walking now on that point if you're someone and you're like I don't care what I look like I don't need to match my shoes to any outfit I'm going and I want to go sightseeing and I don't want to be ultimate comfort, then I'd recommend wearing something like your walking shoes, your sketchers, whatever. Because by the last day for Disneyland, when we were standing in three hour queues for the whole day, and our feet was absolutely fried from the past three days, I kind of wish I had my sketchers that day, just because they're ultra, ultra soft. But these shoes are just utmost incredible in quality. They're so soft, they're so comfortable. Like I, like you know I've talked about so many times, they're like slightly scuffed and marked, so you're not fussed about like things spilling on them or getting a bit of dirt on them, whatever, walk through a puddle. And I think that's what I love so much about them. You can be yourself in them. You can, you don't have to worry about wearing them. I think that's what you want when you're paying so much for shoes. You don't want to be like, oh Jesus, I'm not even gonna wear them because they get a stain or whatever. And I just think that they're really, really cool. And because this pair is my own, I love them even more. I think I am gonna change the laces to white though, just because I like the, I want the color at the side to stand out, so I'll have to move the charm over. They didn't have many laces in the shop. I think that there's a shortage on laces in general because even online that there was none, but I do love the Golden Goose writing on them, so I'd love if I could get like white sparkly laces or even pale pink would be really cool. But let me know what you think of them, guys. I know I only gave a little sneak peek in the previous video. Let me know what shoe you prefer too because clearly they're different. So we have the Golden Goose Crew one and we have the You Are Golden, so... Let me know what you prefer. So this is my first and most important purchase. My my favourite purchase of the last 25 years of my life. I absolutely love them. And like I said about my pink ones, if you ever see me trying to sell these, I'm not. <laughs> so yeah, I, the only thing I want to change about them I think is the laces because I think there's so much going on the sides. I just want to keep it like that. But what do you think about the actual shoe that I went for? I think they're really nice because they're metallic -y. I don't actually have any that are just metallic. Like my other gold ones are much more of a yellow gold. This kind of passes as silver sometimes and other times it passes as gold. But they did have a silver, silver pair as well. So I think it's kind of like a champagne color, but it has no glitter on it. I think I would have liked one with like a glitter star or glitter heel, but I have so many glittery ones. I think that this was nice. And like I said, I was even looking at these shoes normally in Burry Thomas because I know Sinead Keery wears them all the time and they just match everything especially if you're a neutral lover you don't want some glitter these are just such a good one so 
I think with white laces I'm gonna wear these non-stop in the summer so I can't wait to hear what you think about them and obviously I had to bring my bag home because when am I ever going to get a golden goose bag ever again? I'm keeping the bag is such good quality. I like they use the passport stamps to close it. It has like the waterproof thing on it. It was just such a good experience and your man was so so good. Like anything I wanted to do or add or change able to do like no questions asked. He actually said it was one of his favorite pairs that he's ever made. I know I said this in the last video, I don't know if he's there every day because when I went to the first shop I was like please tell me he's there tomorrow and he was like I actually don't know if he is there tomorrow. I was like let me check his schedule so I'm not a hundred percent sure so maybe I'll leave the details of the shop here maybe ring in advance because I know there's nothing worse than planning your whole trip around something and it not working out. So I would plan everything in advance. But he's absolutely brilliant. I, it seems like he's there most days, but just to be sure, to be sure. Next, on to my second favourite purchase. Now, this wasn't an impulse buy at all. I knew I was getting this before I went. It was a matter of what size I'd get, the large or the mini. And I ended up going with the mini Masubi in the powder pink from Acne Studios. Acne Studios is like my favourite brand of all time. I was literally talking to my friend the other day and I was like, what are my top three favorite brands? She was like, Acne, Zadig and Voltaire, Golden Goose. I was like, wow, that, that's so true considering the purchases I just made. I absolutely love this bag. It's a really unusual shape. It's so timeless and classic because there's not much going on in it. Even the name is quite, um, like it's not that obvious, which I actually kind of like because I think, I'm not gonna say that I'm growing out of it, but I'm really liking the kind of minimalistic because I wear such clothes with just clashing patterns and colours. I think it's nice to have a bag that's a little bit plainer. I love the little knots on the side and just the colour of the pink is stunning. Then on the inside you have a zipped part. You can't really move this, that's one thing. It's kind of hard to get into, which is kind of good because it'd be hard to get robbed. There's one part in the middle, I have a pad there. There's one part in the middle with a zip that could fit like your wallet, passport, and then there's two deep sides on the side and then it clap clasps just with a metal clasp like that so it doesn't have a zip but you have the small handle like this and then you have the long handle that can't come off and can't be adjusted so that was one thing because i was like oh my god i'm so small is it going to be really long on me but it actually isn't it's perfect um it does stick out a bit though because i tried on the large one because i wanted like a laptop bag and it was just so so big um, it looks cool, like it looks really cool on other people, but just the shape of it, it's so structured. It kind of sticks out at the side, so the big one was like so, so long. And even when I was putting the big one over my arm like this, because this strap is bigger on the big one, obviously, um, it just wasn't suiting my shape. I was too small for it, but I'm so glad that I went with this. I can tell already, oh, I drew it on it. That's how much I love it. Um, I can tell already that this is going to be a bag that I have forever and I never sell. I just love it so much. And I think that I'll never get sick of it because it's it's like plainer than my usual bags. Like I said, I just love acne. Acne can do no wrong in my eyes. Then I went to a few different Zadigs and a few different like Ghani, Sandro, Majas and stuff. They had some really great stock, but I'm actually going to Kildare Village next week. So I'll bring you with me there. Oh, you're probably going to be getting a Kildare Village haul video soon. Or else maybe not a haul. Maybe I'll just like show you what's actually in because I love seeing what's in. I think that's really helpful for outlets as well to see if it's worth your while taking the trip. But I can't wait to go like Sandra Maj, Claudie Perlo wasn't there the last time I was there. Missoni wasn't there, uh, there the last time I was there. Aoife, Sarah Keary Sarah makeup, Sinead Keary, like all them. Can't wait to show you, film there. But yeah, didn't want to go too crazy. Obviously still fucking did. Two more things to show you. And also I wanted to show you the things I got on Disney. So I know I said in my other video, I thought I was going to literally be fighting tooth the nail and like baiting three year olds around the shop trying to get my ears. But there were so many ears there and so many of the shops um, in Disneyland do them. Now we went to the actual Disney store and the Champs-Élysées as well. And I got these ones and they had some really cool stuff, loads of merchant stuff. There was this Winnie the Pooh Easter teddy that I literally needed but it wouldn't fit in the case. These ones are much lighter than this now that I think of it. But anyway, they have these all over Disneyland and nearly every one of the shops. It's not just one, um, but a lot of the like really limited edition merch, like the 
jersey sweatshirt is actually gone but I'm in this Disney group on Facebook and it said that they're actually putting the merch on the website so I went on to go and see what I could get because it's actually a Pandora charm with the 30th anniversary that I obviously need to get so I went on to find it that wasn't there the jersey that, that I wanted to get wasn't there but these are there so if you won't make it to Disneyland um, before the anniversary or if you want to get them in advance these are actually online with another few things and then I just got these in the normal Disney store they actually have these online they probably have them in the Dublin one as well I just thought they'd be so cute for like filming my makeup videos and skincare videos um, but Jesus, I could have literally spent I could have spent more at the Disney store than I did in Acme and Gorgeous Goose especially the ones in actual Disneyland because of everything I saw I wanted I got some magnets and earrings and stuff too but these were like the main things that I got Disney wise and speaking of Pandora I actually went to the Pandora shop in the Champs Elysees and got two charms I got the pink Vespa and then I got this one here that's like um, a little world globe, a plane and a suitcase. I like to fill it a bit more. I think they're so special. I'm so glad that they're making a comeback. All my favorite things are making comebacks. Uggs, Converse, Pandora bracelets. It's like we're back at sixth class again. Juice Couture tracksuits will all be like Abercrombie and Fitch next and like uh, Victoria's Secret yoga pants. Next up we have Ghani and there's two Ghani stores in Paris and this is actually the new one that we went to. We found it on the way to the Go To Goose shop. So there's some really cool shops all down that lane. And we went in and the girl was actually from Northern Ireland so we had some great chats with her and the top that I got I absolutely love I want this was a spontaneous purchase oh speaking of spontaneous purchase I completely forgot that I bought something else that I don't even have here but this is what I got I as you know I love smiley faces and then sure didn't I see the back Paris limited edition one they only had a few left because it was the opening of the store and this was the shop that we went to, the Rue de Juliette one, and this is the same street as the Golden Goose shop. Um, but isn't it so cool that it has the Paris on the back? I just thought it made it extra special. And look at the end, please recycle. Um, I got this as an extra small. As you can see, they are very oversized, but I'm so glad that I got it now. <laughs> and then my last purchase was this Zadigan Voltaire um, yellow cami. And this again wasn't a spontaneous purchase. I had actually ordered these into the court for Thomas, but it hasn't come yet. I want to get the pale pink one with the dark green lace as well as well as the dark green one with the neon pink lace. I just think the Zadig and Voltaire camis are like absolutely amazing. I love the skinny straps. I love the detail at the back, kind of like the racer back nearly. I love the stars, as you know, stars are like my thing. And I love the stars on the lace. The fish is really nice. They're just so timeless and can be worn in so many different ways. And I have so many of them and I feel like these are something that I'm just addicted to buying. <laughs> the quality is absolutely incredible as well. It's 100% silk and the color is like duck egg blue and this gorgeous lemony color. So this is gonna be my Easter top. Um, Gonna wear this one of my old skirts and like a denim jacket or my yellow my yellow acne coat actually so yeah that is what i got in zadig and voltaire won't try it on because i am going to have pictures of my instagram wearing it during the week they're slightly wide on the side i would recommend trying them on but otherwise i would say an extra small is like a six to eight a small it's like an eight to ten and so on because i do have a small in one of them and it's like quite low at the sides because of it's being so wide like i said i'm going to kildare village now on tuesday and I might have to buy nothing <laughs> because I've done so much damage. I think I'll only buy something if, I, if it's on my list. I'm gonna do a, set, a separate video on this talking about how to shop smarter, how I'm starting to buy premium brands on a budget, buying second hand at outlets, waiting for sales, turning on notifications, all my tip tricks for that, and also how to make a wish list, how to stick to a wish list, all that, blah, 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 all that. I'm going through my wish list in maybe the next video, if it's of interest. So maybe let me know before I record this big long video and you're all like, no one asked for this. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that ye had a lovely Easter long weekend, a four day weekend. I feel like they're they're being very good giving us all these long weekends. I feel like we just had one recently. But thanks so much for watching and the next video you see will either be a Kildare Village vlog slash tour or the um, Shopping Smarter Better one. It'll probably be the Kildare Village one though because I'm literally going there the day after this goes up. So ignore me. I'll see you soon guys and I'll see you with another shopping and fashion video. Bye and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.